Hey everybody, good afternoon, Coach Lori here. I wonder if you saw my title of this and you're probably thinking, what is going on? This positive person um, in this positive group saying that life does suck. Well, I just kind of wanted to come to you because I've been having conversations and I think a lot of times um, now that I have teenagers, I'm starting to really see you know, the things that I went through as I was a teenager and the things that just really do flip and suck, right? So there are a lot of things with life, like talking with my kids, like, you know, why do I have to have, you know, certain skin? Why can't I have clear skin? Why do I have to have my mind racing when other people don't? And all of these different types of things that we all kind of go through. Everybody's got their thing, right? Where life sucks at a certain point. There's certain things that happen to you where you just get kind of hurt to the bone. There's a lot of things in life that can really, 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 really take you down. And I just kind of wanted to come on because the truth of the matter is, is that life absolutely does suck. There is a lot of things that happen in our life that absolutely sucks. Okay. Now it could be, you know, natural disasters that happen to you. It could be divorce. It could be, um, you know, different, so many different things in this life that suck, right? There's a lot of things that can happen. And I sometimes think, we just think, oh, life isn't supposed to be this way. Why me? Why me? Why me? But then when you really look at the, the big picture of things, and I look back, especially looking at my kids, and I see, oh my gosh, I remember feeling this way. I remember feeling this way. And man, this does suck. Why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to feel this way? Why do I have to, you know, and as a parent, all you want to do is grab them and hold them and tell them everything is going to be okay and, and take it all away from them. But then the, th the same thing happens as adults. So you, you can't just tell them, oh, things will get better because things don't always get better. When we're adults, um, similar things happen. There's a lot of things that can happen to us when life hits us. Um, so I just wanted to kind of come on and say it is okay to think that a lot about life sucks. There's a lot of things that happen in life that suck. Now, here's the kicker, though. From that point, what do you do, right? That is where, that's the change between, you know, going through life thinking everything is horrible, poor me, poor me, poor me. That's the change that needs to happen, right? Right at that point. What are you going to do from that sucky part of your life that just happened to you, just happened to your kids, just happened to somebody that you love? What are you going to do from that moment on? And that is what can make life unsuck if you want to use those words right so you can still think man I went through all of this stuff that hurt that was pain um, other people are going through all of this stuff but again what is going to be my next step I'm gonna understand the pain I'm going to say hey this isn't fair because majority of the time it's not fair we know that life's not fair but what we need to do from that point is we need to say where are we gonna go from here how are we gonna feel better about the situation and what can take us there a closed door was it a closed door was it a closed relationship was it a closed friendship was it a closed something that closed right and you didn't want it to stop or didn't want it to end like for me I had my um, a job end that I didn't want to have end a while back a, a, actually a few years back didn't really want it to end right I was enjoying it I was loving what I was doing but it ended and so I made a decision like to wallow in it for a few days because that's okay we can wallow but then after that, I was like, you know what? Maybe I just need to start my own business. And maybe I need to do things that matter to me. And maybe I need to do, you know, some of these other things. So here's the deal. Like, I, we took a, I took a situation that was horrible, made me feel really bad. And I said, how can I step out of this and stop thinking about poor me? Because you can do that all day long. And you can do that for years, the poor me attitude. And all that is going to do is just keep you from doing anything else. You're just going to always think life sucks, poor me, and then you're just going to be stuck. So I'm going to encourage you when things like that happen, when we have negative things happen to us, embrace the suck because it does suck and then go from there and say, what am I going to do to make it better and way better, right? And so I ended up owning my own business, which was amazing, right? And then of course, other crazy things happened after that, but we're not going to go there. Um, but it's just one of those things. You just got to pick yourself up every single time because life does suck. There's going to be a lot of challenges that are going to come at us. It doesn't stop at a certain age. You're not like, oh, I'm 40, all of the suckage stops. It doesn't. It continues to keep on coming. But I just wanted to come to you and say, what is your next step? What will you do from that moment that you catch yourself in that feeling horrible attitude or feeling like life is beating you down? What are you going to do at that point? Are you going to continue to stay there? 
or are you going to take steps to get out of there and say, I need to do something for me now. I need to do something that is going to make me feel better, stronger. And in reality, the majority of the time that you do something outside the box or exciting or scary when from that moment, it, it is so rewarding. You get something so much better because you're putting your heart and soul into it. So again, I just want to come to you and talk to you. Life does suck. It's what we do from that suck to the future that is what's going to matter. So I hope everybody is having a great Saturday. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments on this or anything that you want to share, I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys are having a great day.